uh, let's let's move on to the news, shall we? News. This is a pretty big piece of news, too. It it is, but it won't be for very long. Uh, Amazon Gaming <laughs> announces Luna, Amazon's Luna, a video game streaming service. Um, I did some research on this. Came up with a couple of things. Uh, it's five ninety nine a month for as an introductory price for invitation only early access. So that means nothing. If the Amazon is doing exactly what Google tried to do and failed with the Stadia, they're saying you can play all of our game, all of these games, online. For a six dollar a month fee, you don't have to. You don't need anything. You just need a TV with smart capabilities and a fast internet connection and a whole buttload of data. Um, the the difference use. the difference that I'm seeing is with with Stadia. There was like twenty games when they launched, and they launched it in beta. And it, they totally botched the launch as well. They only they launched it where only the like founders pack, so you had to spend like the two hundred dollars to get it. They totally botched it. Where this is actually like it's going to launch at five ninety nine, and they said that there's uh, more than a hundred games will be available on at launch. Um, launch titles include Resident Evil Seven, Control, see, Panzer see, Dragoon. At launch, though that it's the same it's the same deal that. Stadia is because right now you can only get in to the early access. This isn't even launch if you sign up for like their rolling releases or whatever. Um, so you can you can go to the Amazon Luna website, sign up for the. I I, the, I can't tell early access. The other the other thing I wonder well because this says it's six ninety or five ninety nine a month, right? right. Mm-hmm. So is it like? Is it more like Game Pass or is it like Stadia? Because Stadia, you pay for the streaming software and then you still have to buy the games. That's the other problem with Stadia. Mm. Is this more of a of a service where you can like download whatever the fuck you want, like Game Pass, or is this like Stadia? Because that no. is another big issue with Stadia. I don't know. That's a good question. Um Let me just go down their website. They have introducing Luna, Amazon's cloud gaming service where it's easy to play great games on devices you already own. No waiting for lengthy downloads or updates, just play. Request your invitation for early access and help it make us make Amazon Luna better. There's a button, request early access. There's a little three minute trailer or a minute 30 trailer. Um, Then it goes down. No waiting for lengthy downloads or updates. Games stream directly to the cloud, from the cloud, to your screens. Experience gaming anywhere. There's high-speed Wi-Fi. So it sounds Um, like it sounds like it's a like an Xbox Game Pass sort of thing. It sounds like it. Uh, Game on Uh, your favorite screen. Uh, Luna is available PC, Mac, Fire TV, and web apps for iPhone, iPad. That's a tall. I'm I'm seeing here. Oh, it's only for iPhone. Yeah, I guess so. Play screen without missing a step in the game with Luna controller. They also the announced controller that. is forty nine ninety nine. Okay, uh, during but the you early don't, access period. But you don't need it, from what I understand. Yeah, because it says uh, you have the option to play with mouse and keyboard or a Bluetooth controller. So oh, okay, you, you can connect your Xbox controller to it. That's pretty cool. Uh, explore adventure platform indie shooter rpg racing and classic games from ubisoft capcom 505 and team 17 we're always adding more um uh, then they have game channels they have luna plus which is early access pricing 5.99 a month you get unlimited hours of play growing library of games up to 18 8 or 1080p 60 frames 4k coming soon stream on two devices at a time that's kind of cool i think um good luck streaming 4k though what the fuck? yeah uh play on pc mac fire tv and web apps for iphone and ipad that's weird no android or anything and then there's another thing that says ubisoft channel uh the price where the price is for the luna plus is grayed out so i don't know if you pay for each channel it oh. seems like uh, because That's it says, interesting. 
Yeah, it says unlimited hours of play, unlimited editions, ultimate, sorry, ultimate editions with DLC for select titles. Uh, same thing, stream up to one device at a time on this one um, and then play on all the same things. So I think I think it's what you're saying. It's, uh, it's going to be a Game Pass sort of thing, but I think you're going to have to change the channels <laughs> or include channels. It's like it's and, like Hulu with fucking Showtime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Interesting. Uh, so it comes with like probably a base base amount of games and then you can add on different channels. That's yeah, that's exactly what I'm fucking thinking. I hate that. Uh, um, apparently people on Twitch are already playing it. Um and then you can Yeah, it register. says that, it says it has Twitch integration. So it allows gamers to dive right into the games they just saw their favorite streamers play. So basically, if a streamer is streaming a game that's on this thing, you can just like click a button and start the game. That's pretty fucking cool. Um, I- I'll say this, dude. Uh, fuck Amazon and fuck this whole thing. I'm not touching this thing with a 10-foot pole. Uh, I'd rather touch Stadia than this thing. Amazon can suck my giant cock. And, and uh, yeah, fuck you, Jeff Bezos. Uh, I hope that company burns. Yeah. That's my take um, on this fucking thing. Also, with this whole channels thing, this is going to ruin Game Pass. Like, by ruin Game Pass, I mean it's going to, everyone who has one of these services is going to be like, that's a good idea to make extra money. Let's do that. And no. it's not, and it's not even going to be the, it's not even going to be Xbox's service. It's going to be fucking, it's going to be fucking Ubisoft who's like, well, let's make our own service. And if they want to add us on to their service, it's an additional fee. And that prevents Xbox from putting like Ubisoft games on there. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. So this so, whole thing is a clusterfuck and it sucks and I hate that it exists. Um, I'm really hoping this just tanks kind of like Stadia because it's a bad idea and it's just very scummy and very shitty. For I, I have a feeling this has more of a chance to not tank and let me tell you why. Because when you open up Amazon, this thing is going to be everywhere. And everyone fucking uses Amazon. So you open it up and, the, uh, you know, fucking my dad is going to be like, oh, what's this? I can play games on my phone? Let's check this out. Like, it's going to be like that. Like, So, like, I have a feeling this is going to take off, which upsets me. But I yeah. do. Yeah. And they might include it with, like, Prime for an additional little charge or something. Yeah, exactly. At a certain point. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, it's it's real scummy. Um, what I did want to point out here, though, so, um, in their uh, frequently asked questions, uh, there is a question that says, what internet speed do I need for Luna? And uh, it says, the answer is, the minimum recommended internet connection for streaming is 10 megabytes. Um, 35 megabytes required to play in 4K. Dang. Um and then, low. Yeah, it is. But then right underneath that, it says, how much internet data should I expect to use with cloud gaming? Unlike streaming movies or music, cloud gaming can consume up to 10 gigabytes an hour at 1080p. Uh, that's That only gives you 10 hours of data before... For, for me, anyway. I think yeah, for you, if, too, because I only get... If you what, have that terabyte, or, yeah. You get, it's standard with Cox in the location that we're at to get a terabyte of data. And then once you go over that, you have to pay like 20 bucks additional, like 10 gigabytes. Yeah. Yeah. So you play this for 10 hours. You have no internet anymore unless you're paying premium rates. You have, you can't play games anymore unless you pay premium rates. This is super shitty. It's so shitty. Um, and the number one reason I will not be touching this other than, I guess this is the number one reason because my internet's slow <laughs> and 10 gigabytes is just way too much. And Cox is bullshit. Um, but also fuck Amazon, fuck Jeff Bezos. And I, I just, I cannot get behind the whole like streaming video games thing. Cause like, why would I do that when I've got this fucking terabyte hard drive in here that, and like, hard drives are like or like even ssds now are like super fucking cheap like let me just download the game well even still even still like 
The only reason I can see streaming games is if you're going to play too many games and nobody's going to be playing their games on nobody's going to be streaming their games if they're like a hardcore gamer who yeah well because likes, like it's, i think the like, idea is like you play the game on your phone or whatever but like i don't want to do that i, I don't want to do that you know like yeah. i i want to i'll play it on my fucking tv like what are you talking about i have a yeah. switch like i, I don't yeah, it it's really it's really dumb. Um, like, why would and then like you need internet access for it. Mm-hmm. So like, it's not like I could, it's not like Fast I can play Wi-Fi. it on the train. You know, mm-hmm. like I I just don't I don't get the point. I can buy yeah. a fucking SSD drive, a terabyte hard drive for like sixty bucks. Like I I just don't understand it at all. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I I can't believe that companies are still trying to do this. Um, the only way I can see this actually working out in the future is if internet becomes a human right, like and, yeah, like, like, like electricity or water or yeah, and and it becomes like a government thing where you pay the government and the government pays these companies to upkeep. Dude, you, should, you know when that happens though, internet is going to be shit. Well, for, yeah, that's <laughs> you yeah, know it, dude. Unless, you know it. unless people are to vote for the right shit, you know. Especially unless, in America, dude. No, yeah. dude, America gives you the bare minimum. Anyway. I know. Yeah, it's true, but you have to vote. You know. Look at Flint, Michigan, dude. Look at their water. <laughs> yeah, we just got to move. It's gonna be our internet. Our internet's gonna be fucking muddy here in a minute.